Hey, this is Alec with Sharing the Journey. Is if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know Cindy and I travel the country, work camping from one state at a time, and we've been on the road for the past five years. We have shown you over the last two years in the summers that we have been up in the Yellowstone National Park area, specifically working around West Yellowstone at the KOA. And I've had a lot of comments about how expensive everything is in the area. So I took a look around and sought out an area that's convenient to Yellowstone National Park and the city or town of West Yellowstone that was affordable. And that's where we landed today. So I'm gonna give you a tour of Lonesome Hurst Campground and boat launch area. It is approximately 12 to 15 miles outside of West Yellowstone, which is still not but a 15 to 20 minute drive to Yellowstone National Park. And the prices are so much cheaper. So let's go take a look around. So this is the sign you're gonna be looking for. It's off Denny Creek Road, which is off of uh, Highway 20, which comes right out of West Yellowstone. This is a U.S. Department of Agricultural campground. It does have water and electric, not at all sites. Uh, and they also have a boat launch here. Now this campground is on the smaller side and I believe it is first come first serve. From what I can tell, they have 27 sites and a boat launch. They have um, uh, toilets and they have potable water. So the first area you come to is the boat launch and that is where the bathrooms are. Now, I do not believe these bathrooms have running water. No, they just have, they just have a toilet and it's kind of like grandma's old outhouse where um, they just dig a big hole, I guess, underneath the facility and you go in there. Now, it was very clean in there and it smelt good. I've been in some of those vault toilets before that uh, were not that way, but this is very clean. So at the boat launch, there is a concrete boat launch and there are multiple docks down here on the lake at the launch. The water here, if you can see, is crystal clear and this is at the Hebkin Lake recreation access area so Hebkin Lake is um, the closest lake outside of Yellowstone National Park and it's very large and very beautiful let's take a look and even at the dock I can see all the way to the bottom. This lake is cold and clear. As we walk out of the boat ramp area, we enter the campground. Like I said, I believe there's 27 sites. And here's the information. As you come in, it says the sites are $26 a night. If you get a site with electricity, it's nine more dollars. And if you have an extra car, it's nine more dollars. Also, you can stay here up to 16 days and you can only have up to eight people on your site. And basically what you do is you grab one of these registration envelopes, fill it out, Stick it in the Iron Ranger and away you go. Across from the information registration area is your water.
the first campsite you come to is the camp host they have a very nice setup here now from what I can tell that the campers in the middle of the park they have electrical outlets the ones that are on the water do not have electric they do have trash cans and as you can tell they are all bear cans this is you're in the national forest and this is bear country the roads are in good shape they are a rock road and as you can see the sights are big that's a big fifth wheel there we have another fifth wheel there and there are water stations located throughout the campground now the best i can tell you can make reservations as you see here and the camp host will put it on there and there is also you can come and just see if there's a site available i noticed when i did my initial drive through that there was one site that said it was available for two days so i guess you can just take that now this is site seven it is on the water it is reserved for the day but is currently not occupied so we're going to take a look you got a nice parking area right here and then you have a bear box to keep your food and valuables in very nice picnic table fire ring looks like somebody left some wood from before and then you have this beautiful view of Hebkin Lake for me if I was trying to go to a tourist area like Yellowstone National Park I think this type of campground would be an option I don't know how long in advance you would have to reserve it but if I could get a site here with water and electric then I would I'm not sure if they have 50 or 30 amps we'll stop by one of the electric sites and check it out but uh our campground I think the average nightly rate is 154 dollars now, if you want all the amenities, the pool and restaurant and dump station and all that, bathhouses with showers, then yes, that's a great option. If you're just looking to go to Yellowstone for two or three days and looking for an inexpensive place to put your RV, then this is a great option. Here is an electric site. So the sites do not have water on them so you need to fill your tank before you get here but they do have electric so you can run your air conditioner watch tv and stuff and it is a 50 30 20 so you could have plenty of power to run both those air conditioners and for nine dollars a day for electric i think that's a great deal and their sites have the same thing that the non-electric sites. You've got your picnic table, you've got your fire pit, and then just beyond the picnic table is your bear-proof storage cabinet. This is site 14. This is another non-electric site. But you're sitting here on your porch of your RV, looking out at the lake, maybe enjoying a fire, a beautiful view of the woods, no telling what kind of animals and wildlife you would see. Absolutely beautiful. So if you are on the lake side and don't have power, the campground allows a generator. This gentleman was nice enough to let me take a picture of his. You guys about ready to head out? Yeah. 
So you just have to make sure that you honor the quiet time, which I believe is from 10 to 7. So you can't run the generator after 10 p.m. or before 7 a.m. And like I said, there's plenty of water here. There's another water station. As you can see, they have all types of camping here. There's a tent. There's a motor home, another motor home, travel trailer, Volkswagen van camper over there. So as you can see, this is not a manicured resort. This is old fashioned camping where everything is allowed to grow. You're in a forest setting. You're actually in, what is this? The Gallatin National Forest. And then if you're gonna be on the lake and you come down here just to launch your boat, they do have an area for you to park your boat or your trailer. So this is a pretty cool site. This is site 25. And it looks like a buddy site with I think that's site 26. But you've got a site right here with electric. And then the next site over is kind of the same parking area. So if you're here with the family, you can put your tents back there. You can put your camper up here. Your neighbor can have their camper there. And you have a whole use area where you and your family can hang out. I've always been a big fan of buddy sites. It allows you and your friends to camp and easily enjoy each other's company. So as we've seen, the Lonesome Hearst Campground Boat Launch Recreation Area is an inexpensive way to enjoy the Yellowstone area. Um, I guess you would look on the U.S. Department of Agricultural website or just do a search for Lonesome Hearst Campground about making your reservations, but I think I'd enjoy it. I think you would too. It's just absolutely beautiful. Until next time, happy camping, y'all.